So, example one. A sample of size 9 is taken from a population with distribution, a normal distribution, mu is 10 and sigma is 2. Find the probability that the sample mean x bar is more than 11. Okay, so our sample size n is 9, uh, mu is 10, sigma is 2, and we want to work out the probability that x bar is more than 11. So the population is normal, so x bar uh, will have a normal distribution. Remember, that's not the central limit theorem. That's just a, a, uh, a given fact. Uh, the variance of x bar will be the variance of x divided through by n. So we get our new variance of x bar, uh, and therefore we get our new distribution of x bar. And then um, using that distribution, it's then just a case of working out the probability that x bar is greater than 11 in the usual way. And you can just use your calculator uh, to pick off that probability value. In example two, we've got a um, discrete random variables situation. So normal dice um, <clears throat> is relabeled. So that three faces are marked one, two faces are marked three, and one face is marked six. Okay, and that dice is rolled 40 times, and the mean of the 40 scores is recorded. Now the question says, find an approximate distribution for the mean of the scores. So it's wanting us to find the distribution of x bar. x bar is the mean of the scores. So to begin with, we want to just set up our probability distribution table, as we would do for an ordinary discrete random variable scenario. Possible values that x can take are 1, 3, and 6, and the associated probabilities are half, a third, and one sixth from the information provided in the question about the number of ones, threes, and sixes on each face. Okay, um, now in order to work out the distribution for x bar, we're going to now need the expected value of x, which we work out in the usual way to be 2.5, um, and we're going to need to work out the variance of x, which we can work out in the usual way, um, and that gives us. 3.25 or 13 over 4. Okay, and this is now where our central limit theorem comes into play. Note a couple of things. Note that the original distribution that we're starting with for x wasn't normally distributed. Note the sample size is about 40, so it's bigger than the ballpark requirement of 30. So we've got a large enough sample size, we've got an un well, we've got a um, discrete random variable uh, for x, but under the central limit theorem, because we are considering the distribution of x bar, it will have the same mean, it will have a variance reduced by the um, sample size, so we divide through by 40, and because the sample size is large enough, x bar will approximate to a normal distribution. Okay, that's your central limit theorem. Okay, so what we've just done there is use of the central limit theorem. Um, we have said that x will be approximate to a normal distribution, and we have reduced the variance by that factor uh, of n. Okay, uh, that then enables us to go back and answer the next bit of the question. So you use your approximation to estimate the probability that the mean is greater than 3. So we just now need to work out the probability that x bar is greater than 3. And um, that's just the usual thing from your calculator um, with the distribution given below. Okay.